so much for that. Well, unions may be getting another handout from Congress. Pennsylvania Senator Robert Casey has proposed the Creates Job, Create Jobs and Save Benefits Act. It calls for a giant taxpayer bailout of union pension funds. With more, let's bring in Vinny Vernuccio from the Competitive Enterprise Institute. Uh, Vinny, it just doesn't seem to stop that they keep going after taxpayer money to prop up unions. This is outrageous. No, it is absolutely outrageous. And, uh, you know, it's amazing that unions could get even during a congressional recess. They got Dick Durbin, and the Wall Street Journal did a uh, great editorial on it yesterday. Uh, that Dick Durbin is now co-sponsoring this bill. He, he, uh, he joins notable senators such as uh, Roland Burris and Al Franken as the fifth co-sponsor. But what we're going to probably see when Congress gets back is a lot more movement on this now that the uh, Senate Majority Whip is uh, co-sponsoring it. You know, if they had a Mount Rushmore for uh, senators that backed the unions, I think we were looking at it right there. Uh, uh, how does it work, though? How do, how do they think it's going to work? Give us a little bit of detail on the plan. Okay, well, there's two bills. Uh, the first one's in the Senate. It's the Create Jobs and Save Benefits Act of 2010. And the other one's in the House. It's the Preserve Benefits and Jobs Act of uh, 2009. You know, collectively, I like to call these the uh, happy, fluffy bunny bills. I mean, these things have nothing to do with saving jobs and all to do with bailing out unions. And we're talking well, about bills billions of they, dollars, right? Well, the estimates are on the low end as little as $10 billion and on the high end as much as $165 billion. What this would do is it would create a line in the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, the PBGC. And unlike every other line in the PBGC, which is uh, supported by insurance, premium on the insurance premiums on these pension plans, this line would be explicitly funded by taxpayer dollars. And what's worse is if a, fund, if a pension fund qualifies for one of these bailouts, the pension fund itself, not the PBGC, right. would control the, all the money. It's amazing. Vinny, uh, please continue to stay on this kind of stuff. Bring it to us as much as $165 billion. Outrageous. Thanks a lot. Sure. Thank you. All right, folks, the highlight.